So what's going on everybody? Welcome to today's installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. I want to thank you for joining me today. I know the lighting's terrible because the sun is coming down in front of me and I got a bright garage here behind me. Today we are going to do the starter on the 03 Grand Am GT. Um, I had a hunch that this was coming for a while. And uh, it's been almost three weeks now um, since this car was last running. Um, so it's been like two and a half weeks at this point. Uh, yeah, she broke down on me at the gas station. I just put some gas in it and the starter went kaput. I actually just tried to get this thing started with my wife out here. We, I tried to get underneath it with a hammer, tried to tap on the starter. And uh, that thing will not budge. On my other hand. Hold on. Hold on. It's trying. Alright, hold on. So, we tried numerous times and... Uh, it's not doing it so uh, we are going to have to do it uh, on the jack unfortunately I was wanting to try to move the car to uh, get the ramps on it but that is not uh, that is not happening so yeah now we get to try to do this on the jack let me show you guys what we're dealing with and hopefully hopefully this is not going to be as big of a pain uh, as I'm imagining, because of the limited access that I actually have, um, being that I can't get the whole front of the car up on the ramps. So let's take a gander at what we got going on here. So I already had this shield off of here. There's a, it kind of covers up the oil filter housing and stuff. This other uh, fastener that it connects to, this little wing nut here, um, somewhere right there. Well, it's pretty much stuck in there. So, we're just going to move that, and uh, the starter's right there, so it's it's not too terrible, but it is going to be kind of challenging, um, just because very, very little uh, space here. Ugh, this is going to be a treat. So, <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this will be so much easier because I think, here, I'm going to try to use you guys, try to utilize the camera screen if I can. We're going to go up on this side here, and uh, what do I have here? Alright, so, I got a bolt there, that's all I can see from this point camera screen's really dark oh well there's the, okay so I guess the good news is there's supposed to be there's supposed to be a cover hiding the uh, flywheel there but the flywheel's exposed so that tells me that cover's gone and it looks like it is I think so okay don't have to worry about that I guess so really the only thing I gotta do is uh, we gotta unhook the battery and then we have to disconnect the starter from, well, right there. So, I don't feel like going back in the house to get a wrench. <laughs> so, I'm going to take the Ram Air snorkel off. I've only got two pins left on it. Pull that away from this intake Oof. because that's going to open up more room for the battery terminals. So we're going to do that and that opens it up the whole side there. Tuck 
way so they don't touch anything. Alright. I'm only seeing two wires go into that starter. Thought that there might be more. But I don't see anything else, so. So yeah, there's this one here. That's the green one. So the green one on the solenoid. The top of the solenoid. And there's this one here. And it goes on the little, little end. There might be more than one thing in that one. Maybe that's why. It's, uh, it's wrapped up and it's twisted. I think there might be. I don't know. It's, like I said, this is, this is going to be a challenging task. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I hope that thing fits through here. My gosh, it should. I really wish I could get this thing off. I'm thinking about just breaking it off the rest of the way, to be honest with you. Alright. Like I said, do not touch any of these posts on this starter before uh, you disconnect the battery. Because there's live power going to these. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the bottom one there. And the 8mm socket seems to fit on that. So... Let's break that guy free. Probably twist it off with our fingers. We can't get to it. Oh, did you guys have a good day? <laughs> I had a very long day today. Very long day. And for some reason, I decided to come out here and do this. Um, for a few reasons. Number one... I miss driving this thing. And number two, um, the weather out here is perfect today. It's 73. There is the sun. There's a breeze. Can you hear the breeze on the camera? It's just, it's a nice day to do this. It'd be even nicer if I was up on the ramps and not using the puny jack with the puny stand. Uh, we've got the torn glove. I knew it. Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to put you down for just a tad while I try to get this thing out of here. There it comes. That's a small, small little guy there. All right. Yay. So that's off. Uh, I'm sure the new one might come with it. All right, so from there... Let's take these off. How many are there? Is it just one? It looks like one, which is very interesting. All right, so I got one eyelet wrapped here. The small one goes on the small thing there. Unless the both wires that I am assuming are connected to one eyelet, that could be the case maybe. Because I do feel two wires in there, so they were probably crimped into one eyelet for some reason. I don't know if that's a factory thing or if somebody did that because this car was all screwed up when we got it. Okay, the top one, the green wire, appears to be a 13. However, a short 13 will not go over it entirely. And the long 13, well, the oil filter is in the way of actually getting onto that stud I think all right so we got the wrench to do it thank god for the oil leak <laughs> it's kind of helping this along oh well it was all right so now we could probably use our uh, socket twist it off the rest of the way all right Oh, it's in the socket. Sweet. All right, so those are there. Let's peel this green wire off. And yeah, there is only one wire there. All right. And, oh wait, nope, never mind. I see how this works now. Oh my gosh, I can't do this. This is such a bad angle. 
I'm going to need both hands to put the starter in, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. So there's that guy, the green wire, and then this guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I didn't realize that that was actually sitting on there, so that guy comes off. There. That's what I was picturing originally. A couple of eyelets. Alright. So now the starter's completely uh, unplugged. And now we get to play the game of getting it out. Alright, so there's one bolt there. I see it on the corner. And then the other bolt, I think, was underneath it. So I think we gotta get those out. Uh, would those happen to be 13s also? Oh man. Come on. Uh oh, I think it's bigger. It might be a 15. Alright, so yeah, that's gonna those are gonna be 15s. So once I pull those out, that starter is probably just gonna fall right into my lap. Um, so we're going to have to do that off camera because unfortunately I'm going to need to try to use as much of both of my hands as I possibly could. So, but yeah, so we got the one up here and then the other one, I believe it's that guy right there. And if not, well, then we made a mistake. No, <laughs> that should be it. Um, that's funny, I was thinking about doing an oil change too, so I could have taken this filter out. And uh, that would have given me more room with that socket. Alright, so let me get those loose. We'll pull the starter out and go from there. Alright. Here she comes. She's coming. Man, those bolts were on there like... Good God. <sighs> it's resting on the frame now. <laughs> Did the bolt come out? No, it's still sitting on it. Wow. Oh, hold on. It's... It might be completely off. I don't, I don't know. Let's see if we can... There. Alright. There's that one. Alright. Whoop, sorry guys. Alright, let's try to get this thing out of here. Hey, <laughs> baby's born. <laughs> Yippee. Oh my gosh, that was, that was a hassle. Alright. Well, that's done. Alright, so there is our old crappy starter these are the two bolts that hold it in this is the front bolt obviously this is the back bolt I went inside got some clean gloves because I don't want to get this one all marked up quite yet um, the Duralast remanufactured starter yes I did not spring for a brand new starter I also did not want to buy the value craft one ooh what a world of difference <laughs> Ah, look at that. All right, so, um, cardboard stuck to it. What's this thing say? Oh yes, of course. Um, all right. Hopefully, it's all good. Looks like we got some new nuts for the uh, solenoid, which is good. I think we have to reuse those. I don't see those in there. All right, so let me fight with putting it back in. Um, on a side note, one other little thing that you might want to consider, and I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it because I don't have anything here at the moment but maybe you know clean these eyelets off if you have like a little piece of sandpaper or or something um, 
you know, if, if there's any kind of corrosion or, or dirt or stuff on them, um, you know, you might want to clean those off before you put them on the new starter. Uh, like I said, I don't really have anything here right now to do that. Um, but if you're doing this on your own, uh, something to maybe consider doing um, before you hook the starter up. So basically all we got to do is fish it in there, you know, get it up against, you know, that part of the transmission there. Um, and also if you also, if you have sandpaper, you might want to maybe clean off that surface there against the transmission for the starter to sit. That, that really don't look too bad from what I can see though. So that's not too terrible. Um, anyway. So yeah, well, I'm gonna need both hands. Um, fish this up there. <laughs> and we go get everything up, and hopefully she runs. Yeah, all right, so. Whew, we got that up there. It was challenging. Bolts are tight, front, uh, and rear, right there. Whew, and now. All we need to do is get our connectors on everything. So this guy's gonna go on there, followed by this guy. I already took the uh, nuts and the washers off. Um, they are over there. Let me try to reach for this with my hand, other hand. Okay, hold on, so. Let's take the camera. Hold on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so the washer will go over top of that. And then this nut will go over top of that. And then this guy's gonna go on the smaller one. <laughs> I'm sorry, my camera work is not the best on this video because everything is literally up against my face, including the car itself. Okay. Now, let me switch hands again. <laughs> Washer. Okay, I'm trying to lay the stuff on my belly. <laughs> okay, so we'll put this guy on there. And then we'll take the nut. And we will put it here. Oh, I can only move my arm so far. This probably would have been a whole lot better if the car was on the ramps because it would have been a little higher. The puny little jack can only do so much. In fact, I'm pretty sure the jack is done. It's sitting on this thing now. I can just tell from the way that looks. <laughs> it's alright, we're just about done. Alright. So let's get our 13 and our 8. Snug those things up. And then we can get out of here. All right, that should be it, guys. Uh, so, I was actually able to get the 13 onto that top stud. Um, I don't know what made it so different this time. I really hope that's the right starter. <laughs> um, but anyway, so we were able to snug that up and the eight. Um, you want them snug. Don't over tighten those. Um, but you want to make sure that, you know, you're snug enough so you're not losing any kind of connection. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's all bolted in. All we gotta do now is go up on top, hook the battery up, cross our fingers. Eight side post batteries.
Man, it's been a long time since I've actually gotten real dirty on a car at home. All right, moment of truth. Uh, come on, Jade. All right, extended crank because we had the uh, we had the battery unplugged, so cam crank correlation and stuff. Service engine lights out for now. Beautiful. Yes. I'm so happy. I'm so happy she lives. All right. All right, guys, so there we go. Jade lives again. Let's see. Hey, look at that. Sounds so much healthier than it did. All right, guys, so that's the first major thing that we've had to do to Jade. Uh, well, pretty much since the water pump. Still really wasn't sure if the water pump was our. Uh, culprit for all of the weird issues that we had with the leaking of the coolant and stuff um, Honestly, I'm really starting to think it was the tank um, That's the low washer fluid, but anyway No, uh, I knew the starter was coming. I knew it was coming for a while um, It's kind of weird. So, you know last year Starter started showing symptoms of weakness, but the battery in the car tested bad also so you know, once I put this this new battery in or newer battery in, um, it went away. You know, those starting symptoms really went away for a while, and then they kind of came back over the last few weeks of me driving this thing. And then, you know, that one night in particular, it was extremely bad. Took it to the gas station, and that's where she let me uh, walk home. No, we didn't walk. We towed it home, obviously. So, I'm done. We're done. It's dinner time. I'm starving. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.